What's happening, guys? It's Wednesday, June the 8th. Classic Chris here with another episode of Wrestling Talk. And today, I am talking about AJ Styles. Has too much damage been done to him already in the WWE? I was watching Raw the past Monday night, and I was pretty bored, I must say. I don't know what it was, but it felt lacking to me. One thing that stood out was the John Cena, AJ Styles promo. When AJ Styles said to John Cena, guys like you bury guys like me, when you actually sit down and think about it, AJ Styles is right. Just look at the feud AJ Styles had with Roman Reigns. The Roman Wrecking Ball was 2-0. and Styles made Roman Reigns look like a beast, while Styles looked pathetic in those matches. Two Styles clashes, one on a chair, not enough. One spear, more than enough, that's ridiculous. And, oh, I'm so angry about that Extreme Rules match. It just bugs me what they did to AJ Styles. Now, AJ is feuding with John Cena, and we all know how that's going to end. Cena will lose one match, Styles will lose the other 15, just like Bray Wyatt, Kevin Owens, Rusev, the list goes on. AJ Styles needs a big win badly. Steve Austin even said that on a recent podcast. AJ Styles is a premier talent that sells out buildings, has an amazing moveset, and the WWE should be using as one and stop using him as the guy to make your chosen ones look good. It's ridiculous. How much damage has been done to this guy's character? Let's look at the facts right now. How many matches has he won with the Styles Clash? To my memory, I think he only pinned Curtis Axel with that. I know for a fact that um, more people have kicked out of the Styles Clash than has been pinned by it. So, to me, his finisher is now irrelevant. Their WWE is turning into a joke. His pay-per-view record isn't that good. He has one win. The rest are all losses. Even at WrestleMania, he lost to Y2J Chris Jericho. Jericho did not need that win. Like, I understand if Jericho got that win if they continued on their feud, but they didn't. Jericho immediately goes into a feud with Dean Ambrose and starts jobbing out to him. It is ridiculous. It's tough to take the guy serious when the company doesn't. The thing that bugs me the most is that I'm an AJ Styles fan. He's my favorite guy on the roster. I loved him in TNA, loved him in New Japan, all over the world. But what the WWE is doing right now is bugging the hell out of me. Um, It just feels that the WWE is ruining him. And it's just a pain in the ass because I love seeing him in the E. But it just seems he's just going to be added to the list of the guys who put John Cena over. Let the John Cena Barrel Tour continue. The 2016 edition. Now, am I the only one that feels that way? Let me know, guys. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video. Subscribe. Remember, keep watching Wrestling Talk with Classic Chris. And don't forget to check out the YouTube channel for Classic Chris. Your home for everything Wrestling Talk. Plus, there's several matches I've called from Crossfire and Conflict Wrestling. So check them out, guys. This has been Wrestling Talk.